A long time ago, the reef keeping hobby separated the stony coral world into two broad categories. These categories are small polyp stony corals, or SPS, and large polyp stony corals, or LPS. This designation was intended to simplify care requirements for corals. The thinking goes, if a coral had small polyps, it would share certain traits with other corals with small polyps, and the husbandry required would be fairly similar. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at that convention and see if it's still helpful or possibly misleading. To some extent, these generalizations can be made. If someone says to me I bought an SPS coral, I immediately think this mystery coral probably needs very clean water, strong flow, and strong light. The problem is, it doesn't take too long to think of corals that buck that trend. That is, for example, a small polyp stony that doesn't do well in strong light. We have to first understand that this SPS-LPS convention originated at a time when there weren't that many corals in the trade, and certain corals such as Acropora were considered next to impossible to keep. Back then, there was much more of a distinction between a large polyp stony coral such as a tracheophilia and a small polyp stony coral like a Montipora or an Acropora. Since that time, a whole lot has changed in the reef aquarium hobby. There are way more corals now than ever before. Just when I think I've seen it all, something completely new shows up, like these commensal hermit crabs that live in Astriopora. I didn't even know what Astriopora was until last year. The arrival of what I call tweener corals obscured the gap between traditional SPS and LPS. Pavona, for example, have small polyps and are similar in care to Montipora and Acropora in that they like higher light and higher flow. But unlike those two well-known SPS corals, they do just fine in low light and low flow as well. In fact, they're practically bulletproof, which goes against the thinking that SPS are more delicate and require expert care. Another example is Cephastria. Cephastria have small polyps, but couldn't be more different than the stereotypical SPS. They like very dim lighting and struggle mightily in tanks that are too bright. In terms of light sensitivity, they're right up there with Blastomusa, which, ironically, is an LPS. Lastly, there are corals like Ganiopora that are... who knows what to classify these things under. Some have huge polyps, some have tiny polyps, and they're so challenging that most aquarists struggle with them no matter what type of tank conditions there are. Okay, so what about the flip side? Is it helpful to label something as an LPS? One could make the generalization that a typical LPS does well in moderate flow, medium to low light, and is likely tolerant of less than ideal water conditions. It seems like a pretty safe generalization. The thing is, if you design a system that's middle of the road across the board, medium flow, medium light, and you keep up with a modicum of decent maintenance, you can keep 99.9% of all corals in the hobby. These conditions may not be optimal for this coral or that coral, but you will probably be successful. There's only a few corals out there with specialized care requirements to look out for, but the rest would be just fine. Okay, to sum things up, I personally do not find the SPS-LPS convention very helpful at all. At this stage in the hobby, I think we've progressed to the point that we can find individualized care requirements for corals. The whole SPS-LPS thing originated during the dark ages of this hobby, in a time before email. Let that sink in for just a moment. Not only was there no such thing as Google, nobody even used email back then. Long story short, there's really good information out there on just about every coral you're likely to come across. We owe it to our tanks and to the animals we put into them to do a deeper dive into the care requirements rather than assuming they fit into the LPS bucket or the SPS bucket, which in the end really doesn't tell you very much. Enough about what I think. What do you think about the SPS-LPS thing? Post it in the comments below.